this is the first head is complete. I've I've finished it and I'm fixing to work on the second head. Uh, machine shop did a good job shaving them down. I've put new or not. I reused the old valves, but uh, put new seals in it and uh, put it back together. So look how pretty that is. Yep, isn't that pretty? We're we're gonna put the second one back together and then. We're going to start putting the motor together. Hey guys, we're back in the shop this afternoon. Uh, I'm working on 351 Windsor, putting the heads back together. So I, we, me and Barry both worked on porting the heads. We got them ported and polished. Uh, Matt carried them and had them cut down took them to the machine shop took 30 thousandths off the head off the, the bottom side of the head just to bump the compression a little bit i'm not looking for huge numbers but uh just doing everything we can do so now uh we're putting the valves back in it uh lapping them in and basically building a set of heads so we can stick back on this thing and get it going so that we can get the truck in here and start working on it oh yeah and y'all have pointed out several people have pointed out how our audio isn't great um this is now the fourth set of microphones that i'm trying out uh i don't know if you can see them the little bitty lapel mics so we're going to try that out and see how it does um y'all let us know in the comments if you can hear what we're saying better yeah, hope, uh, hopefully they'll be able to, to hear us a little bit better. I don't know if they can understand us, but they'll be able to hear us. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is lap the valves in. So we'll get a little bit of lapping compound. I can find what I did with it. Great, I just had it right here. Oh, look, it's right here. Get some valve lapping compound. Take a valve. You just have to put just a little bit right on the seat. About five little drops is all it takes. And then for your valve guides, you want to oil, oil the shaft of the valve just a little bit. Then you slide her on in. What that valve lapping compound does, it's a, it's a little fine grit. And then my trick is I take a, a drill on low speed and I chuck it up onto the shaft of the valve. Not real tight. Doesn't have to be real tight. And then just work it back and forth. So you'll, you'll pull, so you pull the valve into the chamber and it and it kind of grinds the valve and makes you a good surface between the valve and the head and I like to go both ways Then you take your drill off, pull your valve out, and then wipe her down. Once you wipe it one time, hit it with a little brake cleaner.
And you can see the edge of the valve right at the edge looks really nice and clean and lapped in. That's what you're looking for. So then you got to do that with all eight valves. On the intake valve, they're a little, kind of a little nasty. So what I like to do <coughs> is I have a wire brush, and I just, if you look at the back side of that valve, look how nasty and deposity it is. We're going to clean that up. If your exhaust valves are nasty as well, I would clean them up as well, but mine aren't too bad. So you get your valve cleaned up and then you lap it the same way. Get your little lapping compound. Get your little oil. Put on your stem so that you ain't running it dry through your valve guide. Set it in there, chuck her up, and do the same thing. Looking very good. So basically, it's just rinse and repeat that four more times, or three more times for each head. And then... Once I'm done lapping in all the valves, oh, and you, you want to keep them in the holes that they came out of, so you want to keep them in order. Once I'm done lapping in all the valves, then we'll put the head together. So when I say you don't need much valve grinding compound, let me show you. I put four little drops on an exhaust valve. The intake valves are a little bigger, so you might do five, six drops. It's all up to you. That's all you need. You don't need any more than that. <clears throat> That's probably too much. <clears throat> One little tube of that will last you quite a while. Oh, look. I got to talking and almost forgot to oil her up. So one thing I didn't show y'all that you probably need to is you see around around the valve is is nice and shiny. It's got a good seal. Well, you need to check the head as well. It's just as important. <clears throat> uh, if you don't have a good seal, you won't have a shiny spot all the way around your valve. Or all the way around the seat on your head. That can mean you have a bent valve or a bad seat or a bad valve. So you need to make sure you check all that before you put the engine together. So I like to lap them all in at least as good as I can first. And then I turn it up and clean the seats. And while I'm cleaning the seats, I'm looking for bad spots. If there's any bad spots, well, then we'll regroup. But I'm pretty sure these heads were good. Uh, I mean, we took them off a, basically a running engine. So there should be no reason why they're terrible. What I generally like to do is wipe them out first and then to get most of the 
valve lap and compound off, and then I like to spray them. That just cleans the rest of it up. You want to get all that valve lap and compound out of your out of your head because it's basically a grit. You don't want to have that in your motor. You ought to inspect them as good, really good, because that's your sealing surface or one of your sealing surfaces in your combustion chamber. All right, looks like a job well done. So now I'm going to go wash my hands and we'll put the head together. So the next step is ah, let's put on our valve guide seals. Pretty easy, just tap them in place. You want to kind of line them up beforehand. <laughs> and the secret is if you look at the valve guide seal, see how it humps up on the side or on the top, I mean. You're going to find you a socket that the hump fits into. So you're not pounding on your the end of your seal with the spring on it. And I'm sure they make a tool to do this. But I don't have it. And this has worked for me in the past, so this is how we do it. There you go. Seal's installed. I clean the valve one more time. Make sure you put some oil on it. Put her in. Put your springs on. Your keeper. Then you install your, your little keepers. Your, your retainers. And try not to drop them everywhere. A lot of people like to put oil or, or a dab of... Yes, damn it. A dab of grease on them. That's fine. All right. I might have to put a dab of grease on them. Make sure they're clean after you drop it on the floor 17 times. Go find your grease gun. It doesn't take much grease. I'm talking about just a little dab will do plenty. Huh. There's one. There's two. Ah, and then it all pops loose. You got to redo it. I usually do them with the head sitting down on the table. I was trying to show y'all. There you go. Springs on. Installed. <clears throat> Ugh. Now I might put them down and do it the way I usually do it. Well, that sucks. A little end come off of my... 
two. Oh. Whew. Oh. It had a screw in it. Son of a biscuit. Yes. Thank God. That's it. That's how you put a set of heads together. Ah. Ah. And you throw your rocker arms on. All right. That's a wrap on that. All right. I'm going to go grab the head. And we're going to drop that thing on. Now that Matthew's got it all pooped together, we can set her on there. Off camera, we were figuring out which way the gasket goes. It says front right there. It's kind of helpful. All right. You grab. What we're going to do is get this corner on that down. Mm -hmm. And then we'll drop it down this corner on that down. There we go. All right. All right. I'm going to get some bolts. Bolts. All right, let's torque them down. I got the torque specs on my phone. Cylinder head bolts, 90 to 100 foot pounds. Just what I suspected. Center out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. We're going to do them all 30, and then all 60, and then all 100. Or 95. Hey. Oh, that ain't the right one. Let's get the right socket. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good idea. Apparently, some 351s have bolts that go into the coolant passages. I've already checked this block and this block is not one of them. That's why I put no sealer on the threads. So if you're building a 351, you either check to make sure or you put sealer on the threads. Otherwise you'll have you're gonna have water coming out of your bolt holes which is never fun but problematic. All right, that's one and done. Now let's do two. I don't know if you can see it. It says front right there. <laughs> it says front. So one of them actually installs upside down, and the other one installs right side up, apparently. Now they want you to do that. So let me go get the other head. <laughs> I mean, if that's the recommended way of doing it, is it really upside down? I, I, I mean, apparently no, not. I guess not. If you give her like one ugly dog, it'll be all right. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. 
and then back her off to 30. And do the whole process over again. And yes, ugga dugga is a technical term. For show. I guess the bosses have decided we're done. <laughs> the boss told us we're done. That's it. So <laughs> I'm going to finish torquing his head down. And then we'll see y'all guys later. <laughs> Probably got dinner ready or something. Yes, yeah, she got dinner ready. There you go. She said, we have to feed the kid. And he's got homework. And... Basically, she told me it's time to quit playing and come inside. <laughs> All right. Sweet. We'll put it back up level? Yeah, we'll put it back up level. Getting a little heavier? A little bit. Got a little more stuff on it now. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. So Matt's got the bottom end complete. The bottom mm -hmm. end's done. Put a new water pump on it. And now the heads are back put together and put on it. Uh, next step will be dropping in all the uh, lifters and the push rods. Yep. And then we'll throw a brand new intake on it. I think before we do that, I'm going to paint it. No, yeah? What color are you going to paint it? Uh, Ford blue. Ford blue. <laughs> but we'll show you that next time. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless.